Hey everybody, how's it going? <laughs> Back out here, working again today. So much has been going on. It's incredible. <laughs> oh, I don't think it sounds on. It is. Bonus. <laughs> so much has been going on out here. It is crazy. I'm outside here of the shed. The inside looks amazing. I'm going to take you inside. I'm going to show you what's going on over there. I'm going to show you what's going on with the solar system. And then we got work to do. So this is the inside of the shed. This is how it's looking now. We got plywood up all along the walls. It's a little bit disheveled now. We moved a bunch of things in here. So we still have to get things organized and put away. But the plywood is up along the walls. It's all painted. Looking really nice. We got tile. We got materials for the solar stuff that's going up. I'll talk a little bit about the, the solar. And I'm going to get a into a little bit of detail in a future video on what's going on. But the solar stuff is up along the other wall here. But everything was moved the other day. But it's coming along real nicely. So I'm back out here by the solar panels. So I just kind of wanted to go over a little bit about what's going on here with the solar. So we got offered some help by none other than handyman Derek Howlett. How could I turn that down? <laughs> Our system is a little bit different from maybe just an ordinary system that uh, most people might use. We're going to be drawing a little bit more power because we're going to be powering three RVs. Plus we might have electricity hooked up into the shed. So it might be drawing a little bit more than maybe a normal off-grid system. We ended up going with two inverters, which is just a little bit trickier for the wiring. And uh, he knew this, so he was like, hey, uh, let me come down, help you out if that's cool. And I was like, absolutely please do <laughs> so multiple benefits obviously um, he's got a lot of experience working with uh, electricity and it shows I'm gonna show a little bit about what we were doing yesterday and he'll be back out and then we're, we're gonna get this thing uh, finished up and then we'll probably be uh, just about ready to run on solar but let me show you what uh, uh, what we were out there what we were working on a little bit yesterday and then I'll show you what uh, what I'm tasked to do today <laughs> I already ran the wire from the combiner box to the shed. But one thing is he showed me about heating up the PVC tube. And then he was able to make a connection from the uh, conduit down here over to the combiner box. And uh, that's looking really nice. Uh, I was just, uh, just heated up the tube quick and was able to uh, lock it in with the connector here and a uh, reducing washer. One of the changes he had made is just moving the, the positive connection from this left side here where I had had it over to this side. And then we just made those connections. We connected up the positive over here to the bus bar, connected the ground wire over on this side and then we tidied up these wires here on the left. There was still too much uh, insulation off of these wires. So that's looking pretty good. There's not much we can do about this. This is gonna have to stay ugly for a little bit. I'm gonna add washers onto the other side of these knockouts to, um, to help prevent any rain from getting into this box. So then we got the nice little bent PVC here for the conduit that's attaching. All these pieces are now glued together, it's sealed. We're able to use that LB connector and a couple of uh, small PVC conduit. And then we connect that, that up. Uh, it's coming sticking out from the wall a little bit. And I'm uh, probably just going to end up putting some rocks around there just to prevent anyone from accidentally kind of like coming over around here, tripping over it or something like that, and uh, possibly messing with the wires or anything like that. So that was what we did outside. There's a lot of work done on the inside. I'll get more into that when we get a little progress a little bit further and I'll show you exactly what's been going on, what we've been doing. And we were out here working pretty much all day yesterday and we made a ton of progress. Way more than I would have been able to make alone. Incredibly grateful for the help. <laughs> 
but I got something to do before he comes back and uh, we finish this uh, thing. One, I gotta get a grounding rod into the ground by the shed and then that's gonna get hooked up with a copper wire into the main electrical panel so that the system stays grounded. That's my work for today. <laughs> so what I got over here is an eight foot copper rod. I have to sink this into the ground uh, pretty much all the way, almost pretty much up the whole eight feet. And I know from experience digging over here, this trench is there could very well be a lot of rocks right down here. This should be interesting to see if I can make it. <laughs> I'm gonna use uh, my T-post pounder over here, get on a ladder and start pounding that. Hopefully it works pretty well. All right, so I'm about to try pounding this thing in. Jessica's holding this thing on the bottom, keeping it upright for me. And uh, wish me luck. <laughs> wish me luck. Good luck. Nice luck. <laughs> on the head. Okay, you ready? I think so. <laughs> It's getting there. I have to down the ladder now to work this thing, and I'm hoping I can get the rest of this down. About five more feet, maybe a little over five feet, five and a half feet, maybe. Let's see if I can do it. I got it pretty much as far as I could with the T-post pounder. When I got to about the three-foot level, uh, it was just—I don't think I was getting the leverage I needed with the pounder. Now I'm going with the Persuader. I'm going to persuade the heck out of this until it gets to where I need to go. <laughs> I'm not going to bore you too much with uh, watching me pile this into the ground. Not, not very entertaining. Not even very informative. But it's going in slowly. Just going to take a little time. Check back in with me a little later. So as you can see, the sledgehammer was working pretty well. I got the grounding rod into the ground. I might need to go just a couple more inches to like fully sink it in, but it's uh, it's pretty much there. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, I just wanted to give people a quick update on the shed and what's going on with the solar. Special shout out to Derek Hollett, handyman, for coming out here and helping as much as he did. I tell you, he saved a lot of time and a lot of uh, a lot of headaches. <laughs> All right, thanks everyone. Please give this video a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe. You don't want to miss a thing. Plus, we're so close to so being hooked up with solar now. You gotta see the result. Stick around. Please leave a comment below. We want to hear from you. Let us know you stopped by. All right. All right. Bye.